different kinds of USB type C adapters with a voltage and ampere meter, no bubbles. Let's remove this protector. Okay. Also this sticker. Plug in just like this. And the cable will go behind the phone. Through the cable is connected on this guy. It has three modes or three indication. It's, it shows the voltage, the amperes and the watts. Right now it's stay on the volts, 5.2 volts. So the cable go behind the phone and you can monitor on the gadget itself that is pulling with 0.8 amperes, 4 watts, 12 volts, using this PD trigger and this voltage monitor gadget that shows volts, amperes and watts. You are going to see the voltage right now with, when the gadget will switch, 12.3 volts and how many amperes, 0 0.2, I am going to go low on 9 volts and the speed of the fan is low and also I can go with with 5 volts this was a short demonstration of useful gadget U-shape adapter for smartphones oh, no bubbles sorry that is good that is packaged in one zip bag plus additional bag. What do you think guys? Please comment below about the quality of this printed circuit board which is power bank board so you can make your own own power bank DIY project and when you press long the module will turn it on and take a look with beautiful blue backlight and right now it says the battery is full 47 percent with how much current is charging the battery let's see with 940 milliampers as I said this is charging with one ampere but you need to use more than one two three or four in parallel so you will get more capacity and not damage the the battery all right USB output and take a look 4.85 volts is pulling 900 milliampers all right, that is almost perfect. Now I'm gonna hook up on port number two, which is giving two amperes. 4.9 volts, 96, 900 milliampers. And I'm gonna turn on the third resistor, 1.39, almost 1.4 amperes. And the resistors are getting hot. So using this, power bank module you can make very easy your own power portable power station and it's cheap module you can get it for around three US dollars okay for around three US dollars you can get this gadget from AliExpress no bubbles Darn it. The remote control that looks like a remote control for cars. Oh, it came out. Yes. Oh no, later. We have four terminals two of them are DC input from the left side and from the right side is DC output 
green LED that will indicate that the, the state of the relay. The lights it stays on and you can turn it off. This is the same for the off button and for the on button. It's, it's used for door locks maybe. You hold it, it's on. If you release it, it's off. On any of these two buttons, on and off. Turning on, turning off. And now the off switch is momentary but the on when you hold it you turn it on and this way you can turn it off look beautiful this thing will be useful for my garden off also the second function while you holding they are turn it on release turn it off on off you will love it this module and why because it's DC 400 watts, 15 ampere step up boost converter, constant current power supply LED driver that works from 8.5 volts to 50 volts and can be adjusted from 10 volts to 60 volts voltage charger step up module. All right, finally bubbles. Oh. Can you hear it? Second board, beautiful, everything soldered. Okay, two big heat sinks for the what's that? For one of them is the the MOSFET and the other is what is that? It's a Schottky diode. It says the input voltage is from 8 to 50 volts, input current 15 ampere maximum. If exceeds 8 amperes, please strength and heat dissipation. And let me explain that, for example, if I put 12 volts on input, I can adjust the voltage from 10 to 50 volts output voltage. And look, we have 24 volts output voltage, input 12. As I said, with this blue thing called multi turn potentiometer. You can adjust the voltage. Okay, let's go with 30 volts or 36 volts. No, other way. Sorry. Let's go. 30. How much? No, a little bit. And take a look at 36 volts LED chip. It's working fine and I can adjust the voltage and the current also through the multi-turn potentiometers and look let's go okay 5 amperes from power source and on output we have 20 volts by 2.7 amperes that is around just to calculate 20 volts by 2.7 amperes it's around 50 watts and it's working great is it hot? nope it's a useful module step up module and I'm sorry that I cannot test it to the maximum I don't do not have the, the proper loads for that maybe you will do it it's not expensive board, it's uh, around 3 US dollars and you can play with this thing. Bubbles! I love them. Okay. Looking nice.
Let's see what it says in the description. It says that the sensor detection range of about 30 degrees or so can output digital signal can be high or low. What it says another. It working from 3.3 volts to 9 volts power supply compatible with most of the SCM system. Alright. So to explain we have five infrared sensors on each one there is a LED indication so can be turned on when the infrared sensor is detecting the flame we have the multi-turn potentiometer for adjusting the sensitivity we have ground positive and five pinouts for each flame so can be connected with Arduino or with your project so I attach the positive and the negative wire of 5 volts on the first pin for ground and the second pin for positive. And we have a red light meaning that it's working. And when you move the hand nothing happens. Of course this is a flame sensor detector. In my hands I'm, ha I'm holding a lighter. So check out what happens when flame is detected. Look, the first and the second LED is turned on, the third one, fourth and fifth. It's working great. Alright. My silicone pad is uh, 50 centimeters, so right now we are, I'm gonna test it on 30 centimeters. And take a look. It's working great beautiful i love it and you can adjust the sensitivity with the multi-turn potentiometer on digital output or analog output number five i connected a buzzer and when on that infrared sensor is detect detected a flame or infrared signal the buzzer will turn on take a look rotating Can you hear it? Yes. You can connect a different output devices and when it's when the number five receives the infrared sensor, that device will be turned on. One more time. Look how it's working great.